And welcome to Houston Newsmakers Extra. We've been talking with Jeff Carr, who is the president of Griffin Communications Group. His dad was Gerald Carr, one of the astronauts who came in uh, as a part of Apollo and then went in the Sky Lab. Um, and we're talking about you getting into the business, being a part of NASA within the media. And so your voice was on some of the activity for what, what years were they on? I was a mission commentator primarily during the years of um, uh, right around, I would say, 87 to, to 91, mm -hmm, something like mm -hmm. that. And what were your responsibilities with that? Well, it, 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 the voice people are most familiar with is the launch commentator, the countdown, you know, 10, 9, 8, right, counting backwards, right. that, all that stuff. Um, but at, at Tower Clear, the voice that takes over is the voice of mission control at the Johnson Space Center. Right. Tower Clear, Houston now controlling, um, and, and then basically calling the play-by-play -play all the way to orbit. Once they get to orbit, there's quite a bit of storytelling to do because sure. you've, got, uh, you've got a mission objective to talk about, what the crew is doing to set up to, to go about their mission. And then, uh, you know, it, it's really sort of a combination of color and play by play um, to paint that picture, complete the image right. uh, that otherwise your, you know, your television viewers would not see. Um, and, and it seems to me, too, that a lot of what goes on there, you know, the mission is exciting and interesting and all that kind of stuff, but it always has an end goal in mind. There's a reason why they do everything they're doing, and that was one of the things that you had a responsibility for tying into to get a sense of why things were being done the way they were being done. And, and I, had, I took great uh, pride in, in storytelling throughout the mission because there's the big picture uh, story about the mission unfolding, but then there are also these great opportunities to connect people with mm -hmm. the human drama and and um, uh, of of space flight. Uh, you know, one of the one of the greatest memories I have is uh, a link it that we a link that we set up between Lacey Beach aboard the space shuttle, orbiting over the South Pacific mm -hmm. and talking to students aboard the Polynesian voyaging vessel, the Hokulea, talking about navigation, navigation by the stars. Wow. They were learning that on the open sea and Lacey was talking to them about how the navigation platform of the space shuttle used star pointing as well. Right. Right. It sent chills up my spine. It you, was, it you, was fantastic. And, and you've been really, because of your unique presence with your father when they when your family moved here you've watched this space program evolve in so many different ways talk about where you think this is going now because we you were talking before we started taping about how um, you know some astronauts are trying to get up and get out through NASA but they're more there's more than one way to skin a cat I mean, to get up into space anymore, right, you're starting right. to see more opportunities. Uh, we're right on the verge of seeing uh, so many more ways to go to space for more people, for more reasons, uh, that it's very exciting to me. I have, I've, I've lived in the space program for a long time, and I've never been as excited as I am today about the opportunity for business, for individuals, uh, the opportunity to inspire a young generation of, of explorers uh, through the commercial development that's taking place, both in support of NASA's big missions their exploration mission, right. um, but also through um, the development of space commerce, space tourism, uh, mining, uh, any number of things that we can do once we get to space. When I watch Orion go up, and we got, I saw that happening, and I look, I say, man, that's a big thing. Not since Saturn have I seen something that big. And you watch that baby go up, and then you watch what, what has happened with Orion and also with SpaceX. And it really is phenomenal watching what's going on. With this program, when it went up, I know it's a lot going on. They want to try to get to Mars at some point. And then the SpaceX program, where the, where the rocket booster will land back on Earth, which is just neat. Yeah. You know, yeah. if nothing else. There's a lot neat. of neat going on in the space program right now. Is this stuff, we're still watching the video here, but talk about the, the way that this is helping to uh, evolve space exploration. Well, NASA is taking the lead on exploration and they are developing the space launch system, which is much bigger and much more spectacular than the than the rocket we just watched. And Orion will sit on the top of that massive rocket, the biggest rocket we've ever built, Saturn V class plus, uh, and that's the vehicle that will get us not just to Earth orbit, but beyond Earth orbit onto the moon to libration points into Mars. So, so NASA has a clear path that they are blazing to 
back to exploration of our solar system. And, uh, and, and pretty much low Earth orbits being left to the commercial developers to exploit, to develop, um, you know, as a new place to go and to work and to do business. How far away are we talking about for those kind of major, as you talked about, the, the huge uh, goals that NASA has? I don't think we're that far away. Right. Uh, you know, as long as we keep our eye on the ball, I mean, I would hate to see another Apollo moment where, you know, the final missions are, are scrubbed. I mean, right. uh, there's great progress being made in the development of the systems that we need for exploration. And if we can keep our eye on the ball, it's just a matter, you know, just a small handful of years before we're going to see people back on the moon. Well, I hope that you'll come back because I love, I'm a geek about this stuff. I can talk about this all day. And uh, so can I. There's only so much <laughs> internet space, so we'll, we'll wrap this up. But come back anytime, we'll talk about it. I Especially as we get ready to do some more uh, exploration at the next level, whenever it starts to go up, we'll, we'll come back and do it again, okay? Sounds great. Jeff Carr, thank you very much. Share this with your friends.